Oh no, no, no. Those were those things were in the original Super Mario World. Those songs. ah. They were only in the first castle, and like one segment of the last castle, I think. Sorry, Marcus. It's probably right there. That I always never avoid. I don't think it'd be easier to crouch. It is. I'm gonna get hit by a saw blade. No, I'm not. Okay. All right. This guy. Who's this again? Uh, I think it's Lenny. I forget which one it was. What the heck did he just throw at you? Uh, fireball. It looked really weird. Looks like he's throwing a wheel of cheese. <laughs> no, sorry. The only boss in this game that's any sort of challenge is Bowser. Or like in the norm in the original Super Mario World, the only boss that's any sort of challenge is Bowser, and only because his third base is hard to hit. Ah. Uh. Or not hard to hit, hard to like avoid. Because the third base is where the clown car keeps hitting the uh um the ground it's gonna be hard to avoid at times. Why are continue and save and continue and not save uh in English? Very good question. Oh shit, if I miss I'm gonna be ticked. Not ticked. What happens if you hit that? What that thing? Oh, Nothing, that. but if you hit that thing it hurts you. Do they follow you? Yeah. No well no. No. They don't like home towards you, but it's not like in Galaxy. No, yeah. What happens if no, you hit those things do hit you. Those things do hurt you. Although if I were the dude who made this, I would have edited those so instead of being big red blocks that look like kinda that look kinda crappy, that would have been like bombs. Mega Man or bombs or like Mega Man spikes or something. I would have made Yeah, I would have done like the old mines they used to have. In the mega, yeah. This is the hard, this is like the only hard one right here. You know they train dolphins to look for mines? Oh yeah. I always found that kind of funny. Dolphins are the only animals besides humans that will kill for pleasure. Or just for fun. But then again, dolphins, uh, do ha Dolphins use sonar, right? I don't know. Or am I insane? Uh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure they do. I think it's both, actually. Then you again, could, you're insane. Couldn't we use radar to look to detect mine? Do I look like I know about this stuff, dude? I don't know. You're a disembodied voice, just like me. I'm a manipulation. I'm an embodiment of lightning. <laughs> that was right. a sneeze. I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. Because, like, the thing about this is that Viz actually, I don't know where they got it, but they actually do have Kaizo Mario on here. I was able to beat stage one after, like, two and a half hours of playing. Oh, we should totally do that one. That'll be awesome. We should totally not, because the only stage I can do is stage one. It took me an hour and a half. I know, it'll be the greatest walkthrough ever. The greatest walkthrough ever. Star Slingus dies a million times and then completes a stage. Hey, it worked for Cloud. Wait, Cloud did that game? No, I mean, with his I, with his, I want to be the guy. Oh, yeah. That game did actually take me just a million years to beat. I did eventually beat it, but it was really hard. That I, in fact, I want to be the guy is like the hardest game I've ever completed. But I still say I want to be the guy that's harder than Kaizo Mario. Yep. What do the Yoshi coins do? Um, if you, there's five in a level, if you collect all five, you get a one-up. He thought he could hit you with that thing. Yep. By the way, did you ever notice you um, said dump load of energy quite a bit in your uh, cave story walkthrough? Yep. Speaking of which, I gotta play that sometime. It's an awesome game. Maybe after we're done, I can play it. Yeah. The thing about cave story is that like the stuff that's really hard, like the like the ball ballos and stuff, the first like ten times you fight them, they're really hard. But once you know what you're doing, they become extremely easy. In fact, Devil Doom himself is the exact same thing. Once you fight him like 10 or so times, well, in my case, like 600, uh, he actually does get easy. Or in Tanix case, 4. 
Uh, no, in fact, I think it was less than four. Damn you, Tannic. Well, I mean, he's... You still made me look like an idiot by that. He's the Sonic freak, though. I mean, it's his job to be... a Sonic freak. Yeah, true. That's why you you're still not supposed to be what I thought was the... Oh, come on! You're still not supposed to beat what I, at the time, thought was the hardest video game boss in history. And he's still my third hardest boss. The only two that will beat him now are, in order, are Balos and Ultima. Hey, do they have a... They have what? Ah, uh, Final Fantasy... The one with Kefka. Final Fantasy VI? Yeah. yeah well, sorry. I always forget which one it is. I always... They should rename it Final Fantasy, the one with Kefka. Sure, why not? That way, just for my convenience. I yeah. don't care about anyone else. There are actually a bunch of hacks of it. Joking. Most of the hacks are pretty good. So there's this one hack where they replace Shadow with an Imperial Soldier just because. I'm sitting there going, okay, you replaced the coolest character in the game with a dumb character. You kind of took out, like, half of what the game was, half of what made the game awesome. Oh, I just thought of a really stupid, but it'd probably be kind of awesome and fun at the same time but make final fantasy 6 with batman what the hell would that do notice that in this level for no reason mario half of his hat and his, his shoes are like lighter blue this is the only level where that happens you never see it again it's weird also that jump is really hard to make you have to jump between those guys but yes i'm well aware of what that looks like Wait, what does it look like? Oh, never mind. Ziggy Boogie Doog? Yeah, sure, why not? Let's just say that and move on. Is it something inappropriate? Yep. Well, it depends on your def definition of inappropriate, but let's just say yep and end this conversation. Okay. Haha. <laughs> Quadrilaterals. Oh, crap. Look at the balls on that Koopa. And that what one too. Heck? What? Where did that come from? I mean, look at them. They're just hiding out of nowhere, and then just suddenly they come to attack you. Yeah. And then, and then they run off the edge of the stage. Shoot! And then I get hit by that thing. Crap! So also, I think this is the only Mario game where um, Koopas were able to walk outside of their shells without, like, being in their underwear or something like that. Because, like, after this, whenever you saw Koopa... Oh, shit, I missed it. Whenever you saw Koopa out of its shell, it was just, like, the same, except it was in its underwear. It was just kind of weird. The ship, well, it's actually called the wreck. This is like the first pretty tough level. It's got ghost days. Yeah, but that's not the reason why it's tough. You'll see why it's tough it's in the second half. You know who could do good at this at against the booze? Who? Two Face. Two Face is awesome. I I mean I don't mean the Batman villain. I mean the character he made Two Face because he could. Oh yeah. Because he could turn his head all the way around and then they couldn't follow him. Especially since Two Face is part. Well, he's no, he's part zombie, part voodoo doll, and he actually kills ghosts in several episodes of Two Face. He's a zoo doll. Yeah, sure, why not? I I would have used the skeleton fish here. The what? Remember the skeleton fish? Oh yeah. It does a really hard. This thing is really hard to dodge. Because sometimes when you do there, they'll it'll, they'll respawn. But they did that time, which is good. Speaking of which, you want some gum? Um, uh, no, I'm good. This is the hard part. This thing was hard in Super Mario World, and it's hard here. When they do that. And yes, touching them does, in fact, hurt you. I just always wait until they go to this one, and then just move slowly. Oh god! That was close. Oh! Whoa. Dude, I was like one pixel away from getting annihilated. 